Here we are at the Head Rush booth at the uh, Fan Expo in Toronto, Ontario. I am here with, of course, UFC fighter Eddie Wineland. Now, Eddie, how do you feel about uh, coming here uh, with the fans? It's the biggest event in Canadian history and in UFC history. Here you are, part of it right now at the Fan Expo. Talk to us about the fan experience that you're going through right now. Um, it's great so far. You know, I've, I've been here for about a half hour, just kind of walking through the crowd, trying to find out what's where, and, and you know, just trying, trying to be real sleek and stealth about it. Uh, a couple people have picked up on me, but um, you know, for the most part, I, I love it. You know, this is what it's all about. You know, it's all about the fans. Now, can you compare uh, this experience because UFC still is, you know, they're trying to be the biggest brand in the world, and uh, and right now, uh, here you are, and this is supposed to be at least in terms of the capacity, twice the, as the size of any other UFC uh, experience before. Have you seen the difference? Have you seen more enthusiasm? Have you seen people from what, like, uh, uh, or is there a difference from what you've seen so far? Uh, being here, I mean, I fought in Canada before, and uh, the Canadian fans were just absolutely awesome. You know, it's. Uh, it's, I, I don't know if it's the air up here or what it is, but uh, I mean, it's just everybody, they love to see you come and fight. And uh, I don't think I heard a single boo when I fought in Canada. So uh, they understand the sport and, and I, I think it's really great. You know, there's a lot of people here and it's, it's getting really crazy, really hectic. And I mean, we're not even halfway through the day yet. Uh, I want to know for you as a fighter, what does this do for you in terms of seeing the growth that this company is experiencing, seeing that they're going international, seeing, uh, you know, you're, you're, you be recognized around the world. How does that impact your motivation or are you still focused on the task at hand purely? Your honest answer, not the typical answer, honestly. Um, you know, I mean, all, all the all the hype and the media and all this, I mean, it's great, you know, uh, I, I've never been used to it before. I kind of got thrown into it with the Uriah fight, but uh, I think I've adapted well and I enjoy it. You know, like I said, uh, anything I could do to please the fans and, uh, you know, it, it's just great because without them, you know, the sport is nothing. Now, I think you maybe touched on it, but I'll ask you the question anyways. We're talking about the biggest fan experience. What's been Eddie Wineland's biggest UFC experience to date? To date? Um, I mean, obviously the Uriah fight. You know, yeah, that, yeah. that was huge. That was um, that was a huge fight, and uh, I, I see a lot more huge fights coming my way because, uh, you know, they, they still they haven't tapped in to see what, what I'm actually capable of. Now, you know, you're known as a, like a fierce striker. I can see a lot of that happening right now at the UFC 129. Uh, what are your thoughts? Are, are you still doing the same game plan in terms of developing yourself with the same components? Are you adding in different people? Are you moving around? Are you changing things? Uh, just doing the same thing, you know. I mean, what, what's worked for me now is it's worked for me now. So, you know, it's why deviate from what's working. And, uh, you know, my wrestling's solid. Obviously, you know, Uriah had a hard, uh, hard time taking me down. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, people people still haven't seen what I'm capable of. You know, they, they have yet to tap into, into my capabilities. George St. Pierre is taking on what he calls I think more seriously this time, his toughest opponent. <laughs> Do you think Jake Shields has what it takes to take the gold from Canada's George St. Pierre? That's a tough one. You know, St. Pierre's in great shape. Shields is a big guy. Uh, I think Shields is actually bigger than St. Pierre. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, I think Shields has the tools, but I think St. Pierre's in better shape, and I think St. Pierre's going to take it. All right. Does, uh, does he actually win a round? Does, does Jake Shields actually win a round against George St. Pierre? I think if Shields is going to win a round, it'll be the first round. Okay. All right. Of course, this is Eddie Wineland. You're getting ready, taking care of business right here at the Head Rush booth. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot.